sight from the road, flames shooting from the roof, windows, a black plume of smoke. History is burning. I came in, uh, was dispatched initially about 445. When firefighters got to the scene, a huge problem, there was no water. See, there's no hydrants out here, so we're having to shuttle water from various points uh, up to a couple of miles away. Eight tankers and eight trucks shuttled water back and forth. These are pictures taken by an LEX 18 viewer just minutes after it started. One firefighter received minor injuries when he was hit by a vehicle during the chaos. When the alarm rang out, horse farm workers got up and ran to the mansion. You know, when I looked out the window, I saw the ambulances and fire trucks running and, and then, uh, you know, I made it around the corner of the driveway and saw that it was the house and you know, it's a sad morning. The sun rose and firefighters continued their attack from the ground. From the sky, horse trainer Dermot Fagan is the one who called 911. Most of the two-story antebellum mansion is a total loss. That's so big, we started spraying some of the roofs of the other barns just to make sure there weren't any embers, you know, flying around. No one was there at the time, but farm workers tell us the owners were planning on moving in soon. A house that uh, you know you see those columns when you come down Russell K Road. A dream that will have to wait. And as you can see, investigators are still here. They've been here for more than 10 hours and still no word yet on the cause of this fire. For now, we're covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Nikki, back to you.